It came down to just one point, just one point short of potentially sending the game to overtime was Eastern Washington today against Weber State. The number two team in the FCS certainly about to see its ranking drop. Let's take you out to the red. Boy, was this game bonkers. Pick things up in the second half. Weber State runs its third fake punt of the day and converts. Sound the alarm, big fella with the rock alert. Punter McKenzie Morgan to lineman Jared Sheese turns fourth and four into 20 yards. Fake would lead to this touchdown run from Chris Jackson from nine yards out. Weber State takes a 27-21 lead with the score and would add on another touchdown after an interception. But with eight minutes left, down two touchdowns, the Eagles would make a comeback. Eric Berrier scrambling and slinging to Blake Goble, who just will not go down. Fights in to cut the league to just a possession. Defense needs a big stop, and they would get just that. Eagles force the fumble, and now the offense, well, they have a shot to tie things up. Down seven, would get the ball all the way down to the one where Dennis Merritt punches it in, but you need the PAT down one. And most of the time, you'd say that's a gimme, but sometimes that's not the case, and oh no. Seth Harrison misses left. Defense, now they had a shot to get the ball back to Barrier and crew, but Weber State would pick up a first and run out the clock. Eagles fall 35-34 in a heartbreaker. Here's Coach Best on the heartbreaking miss. 35-34, uh, would have loved to kick the extra point, you know, which is something that, that, again, most teams take for granted and miss the extra point, pull it left, uh, but there's a lot of stuff before that, you know, whatever it was in those 57 minutes leading up to that point that uh, put us that, in that position. Now the loss snaps the nation's longest active home winning streak at 20 games. And if you want to point out a single reason why the Eagles lost to a 2-4 and four Weber State team today, that answer would be special teams giving up three first downs on fake punts. All three drives where the Wildcats converted a first on a fake punt led to a score. The biggest thing for me, I think, is you know, just the fourth down conversions, you know, that was a big part of it. You know, they converted, I think, three times a fourth down with fake punts, you know. We can't really let that happen. Give credit to Coach Hill. I mean, uh, one is uh, difficult to call, two is even harder to call, three. I don't know if I've ever seen that in a game. So they saw something, uh, they attacked that something, they believed in that something, they attacked and they executed way better than us. And while this certainly takes a back seat as a headline due to the loss, Eric Berrier surpassed former Eagle Matt Nichols for the most offensive yards in Big Sky history on this pass you see right here. Nichols played quarterback for EWU back in 2006 through 2009, so that record had held for 12 years until today, where Berrier will continue adding on to what is now his record.